Hi everyone! In this quick video I'm going to show you how you can make custom buttons um, using Google Slide or custom button shapes. So I've got my presentation and I want to add buttons to it. In a later video I'll show you how to add hyperlinks to those buttons so that they actually work and take you to the different slides. But on my home slide, on my title slide here, I'm going to add some buttons that take me to slides two, three and four. Okay, so I go, I do, I do this by going to insert and I'm going to choose shape. Now there's a couple of shapes in here and um, the rectangle is the one I'm going to use but you could easily use some circles um, but for, for usability um, users recognize rectangles as buttons so I'm going to click on the rectangle and I'm going to drag it on and then up here I can format it so I'm going to go into the fill color and I can choose a solid fill I can then go into the border and choose a, a, a border color if I go to the border weight, I can make that a little bit thicker so that it stands out a little bit more. Okay, um, and, and that's pretty much it. I'm going to actually change the font of the button, which doesn't make sense because there's no text on it at the moment. But in a second, I'm going to copy and paste these buttons and I want them all to be the same. So I'm going to change the font to the one that's on my plan. And the one that's on my plan is impact. So I'm now happy with that. I can now click on that and press Ctrl and C on my keyboard. Click off it, Ctrl and V twice. I now have two more identical buttons to use in my project, okay? At this, this point, I'm going to add some text. So this is why we changed the font of then, because when I right click now and go to edit text and type slide two, you can see there that it's changed it to impact. Now, actually, if I was being really savvy, I would have made the font size a bit bigger and I would have also centered it when I made my first button because now I'm going to have to do that with all the others. So I'm going to right click, edit text, slide three and can you see there I'm going to have to change it to a bigger font, make it the same size. It's got to be the same size guys. Make sure consistency is the thing that you're focusing on and do the same with that one. Okay, so if you wanted to speed up that process, you would have changed the font size alignment um, at the beginning before you copied and pasted them. Right, I'm happy with those buttons. Those buttons, when clicked, will take me to those slides. Okay, slide two, three, and four. When I get to slide two, well, I'll say slide one, but I should say slide two. When I get to slide two, I'm going to have a back button, a button that takes me back to slide one. So I'm going to go back into insert, and I'm going to go to shapes again and this time I'm going to go to arrows and I'm going to choose an arrow that is pointing that way because users have developed the understanding of what forward and back arrows mean so when you click on a back arrow it takes you back to where you were before okay we see that a lot in um, computing see up here this is a little back button which will take us back to where I was before so again I'm going to click on these colors to get it to be the exact same as this one Oh, here's the top tip. I'm going to click on slide one and I'm going to click on that button that I've created and I'm going to go up here and you see this little paint format tool brush. I'm going to click on that, go back to slide two and click on the button. And you can see there that it's applied that formatting to that back arrow. So I don't have to go back into it and try and figure out, oh, how thick was that border around it again? What exact pink was it again? You don't need to do that. Once you've made one, okay, you can click on it, you can choose the format, paint format tool, click on the other button and you can create um, the exact same format on other buttons. Okay, so I could build this up with buttons that take me back on these other slides okay so that when i add hyperlinks to them they will do that i want you to watch my next video only after you've had a little practice and play of making buttons okay have a little play around with all the different options inside this fill because you don't just need to have a, a solid fill you could have a gradient be careful with gradients you can see that my background is pretty crazy okay having a gradient on my button is just going to make this look too much all right so have a look at your design if your background's pretty simple you may be able to put a gradient on your button because it might be enough but don't go too mad okay right everybody have fun have a big practice and a play but have fun